I was um, doing a, a little Instagram video of uh, one of my books, well, a couple of my books that I did here for the um, for the ritual show in Philadelphia, and it was noted, and I noticed too, that it was hard to see uh, because of uh, the way the lighting was. So I thought I'd do an actual video here to show each book. And the general theme is ritual. For me, ritual encompasses those things that I routinely address in a uh, mindful way. So that typically has to do with food or nature or um, my martial art, that sort of thing. So well, I'll start with the first book I did, which uh, are mostly cyanotypes and my Baba Yaga figure watering her garden. And these are all photograms on Goyu paper stitched onto the book. And these are, these are single sheet books, so they're folded in such a way that you end up with eight pages. So that was the first one I did. And then I went on to using the Goyu paper, printing directly on it, and then dipping it in encaustic medium. And these are all food related, tincturing, tomatoes from the garden, watermelon radish, eggs, persimmon, and orange, and on the back some citrus. So this, this kind of goes to my idea of, you know, how, how we approach food in ritual senses, and you can see how with the Goyu paper you will get some uh, transparency to the other side as well. That's, that was the second one I made. Then I went on to the ocean, the Pacific Ocean in particular, and how it was a ritual for me to go out and be near the ocean to connect with that, that, that vastness. And these are all um, what I call faux panos or holgoramas, overlapped frames uh, that I, I took the pictures on film with my Holga camera. And these are all in various places along the Pacific Coast. And this one on the front to back is all one. Uh, all one piece as well. And again, you've got the, the translucence of the pages from one to the other. That was the second one I did. And then I have uh, another place. Uh, well, spring is a ritual for me, observing the blossoms, observing the, the green as it comes out. And again, these, um, these are also Holga. All of these are shot with the Holga. Uh, three of these are with um, partially, well, partially with the holgorama with the faux panorama, the overlapping frames. This one is just straight frames. And, and they were all cropped because these aren't square. I had to crop the, crop the images down. But this is blossoms and pony pasture. Again, on the Goyu paper and dipped in encaustic medium. And I'll show you again how the, the translucency works from, from one side to the other. And I tried to arrange them this way so that I, with a couple of them, so that I had the 
the close-up of the blossom on one side and the, the woods on the other so that they kind of came through to each other. And then the last one is a little bit funky. I was thinking about, um, well, I was looking through my pictures and I, and I saw the, the marching band. My son used to be in the marching band and I thought, well, that was a ritual every year we had when the marching band would go uh, at homecoming and march through our little city and down past the, the elementary school. All the elementary school kids would come out and a couple of times um, I followed them around. <laughs> and this, this one is one of the, the faux panoramas um, with the Holga overlapping. And then the inside ones on this one happen to be pinholes. So so there's a lot of motion blur. They are more abstract um, with the marching band going down the street. I mean, you probably, somebody might not even be able to recognize what they're seeing, but I like it because I like the color and I like the motion in it and all of that. And again, we have the, the translucency of one page through to the other. So that's it. Those are the those are the five I've gotten done so far, and I'm going to do one more one more uh, book that is all cyanotype, and that will be of my um, have some Aikido imagery in it.